so you know very well how this uh, breadboard will work okay uh, you know very well uh, there are two upper portion and the lower portion of this breadboard they are horizontally connected if you this is a battery okay battery has a two terminal one terminal is positive this red wire is a positive terminal and another terminal is negative okay so you have to connect these wires to the backboard so when you want to connect these wires to the backboard okay so if you place this particular wire at this tiny hole so all these tiny holes are horizontally connected okay if you put this wire right here all the upper row uh, connections are connected physically with each other so you can take the connection from here also you can take the connection from here also all these are plus 5 volt power supply okay clear everyone there is a bottom uh, horizontal uh, row right here as you can see you have connected the negative supply to this particular horizontal line so all these uh, horizontal tiny holes are connected with each other okay so there are uh, four uh, separation between to this uh, red hole uh, upper as well as lower portions are horizontally connected there as two central rows of this particular red holes are vertically connected okay understood clear so there are five uh, tiny holes uh, in this particular row they are vertically connected so you have to place the components like this okay if you uh, connect this plus 5 volt to this tiny hole all these tiny holes will be connected uh, physically with each other okay and you have connected the led and uh, led should be connected to the resistance and that resistance is connected to the negative of the supply in this manner your circuit is complete and you can perform the experiment okay clear any doubt related to this this slide quickly give your response in chat okay clear now come to the next point in this particular experiment uh, we will perform uh, different applications okay so first application we will perform uh, to blink the led so you can uh, design your own uh, applications uh, you can design a led flasher program you can design led blinking program also uh, you can design diwali lights also okay you have seen in diwali we are using different lightings okay so those uh, lightings will work uh, with the arduino okay or with some controller so you can program the controller and that those leds will blink accordingly okay so in this particular experiment or in the hands on session we will see only single led flash on and flash off okay so we will demonstrate right now in this experiment but you can also design such type of application this is the second application we will perform okay in this particular second application you can see we have placed different sensors okay it can uh, this sensor is used for the temperature this sensor is used for ultrasonic uh, sensor type this uh, sensor is used to connect the motors okay so you can control your robot with the help of these sensors so these uh, ultrasonic sensors are used to sense the obstacle and you can uh, you can use these sensors to control your devices okay if you find there is some obstacle you can manage to control that application okay with the help of these ultrasonic sensors this is the another application you will perform in this particular lab okay so this is a line follower robot okay it will follow the line we have placed two sensors right here it will sense this white and black strip of the uh, uh, tape okay and it will follow this black path okay if your sensor uh, is uh, moving toward the black side uh, automatically signal goes to the controller and that controller control the wheels of this particular uh, a robot and uh, it will move right or left position to adjust the black strip okay so 
So this particular robot will work on this uh, or move on this particular black strip. Okay, clear. So this is another application which we can use for uh, uh, robots and uh, that uh, robots can be used in most of the industries where you can uh, use conveyor belts okay or you want to transfer some data from one place to the another you have to use the, as that type of robots which will follow the particular path to uh, uh, transmit the luggage to one place to the another okay so this is uh, another application where we have placed different sensors. The sensors will sense the information and that information is stored in a uh, cloud system. Okay. So we will perform all these type of uh, application in this particular lab. Okay. Any doubt related to the application part, quickly give your response in chat. Are you clear about these applications? Okay. Now come to the next part. <clears throat> clear okay so now come to the next part uh, why we are using uh, this uh, breadboard and why its name is uh, suggested as a breadboard okay why it is called as a breadboard in the initial days when uh, you have to place your circuit and you have to connect a different component we use some board okay we use some wooden board and we place different grooves over these board okay and these groups or these screws are connected through the component and you make a particular circuit okay so in this manner we have to design our circuit and we have to perform the experiment so we have designed the breadboard and the name is suggested based on the similar concept so this is the analogy for uh, displaying or showing the name as a breadboard. Clear, everyone? Why we used to call this as a breadboard? So this is the similar analogy. Uh, so we are using in the initial days simple board to place the different components, and these components uh, right now are placed on the breadboard. Okay. So this is the view of your breadboards. There are three different type of uh, breadboard which are uh, shown in this particular slide. As you can see, this is a full view of your breadboard. Okay, there are two upper as well as a lower uh, portions of this breadboard. They are horizontally connected. There are central two rows are vertically connected. Okay, this is the half view of the breadboard, and this is the mini view of the breadboard. You can see this mini board uh, most of the time when you want to place some components uh, on PCB. Okay, so this particular mini board is placed over there. Clear? Now, then uh, we have to discuss the different part of the breadboard. As you can see, this power breadboard is divided into four different parts. Okay. So upper as well as a lower portion of this breadboard are known as power rails, whereas central two rows are known as terminal strips. Okay. So this uh, power rail is divided into two parts. One is a red and another one is blue. You can connect positive supply to the upper red uh, colored strip. Okay. Whereas you have to connect a negative supply to the this a blue color strip clear everyone so these are the internal components uh, so this is a breadboard okay i i can share the screen with you just see the camera okay i am sharing the camera with you okay this is the breadboard okay you can see this upper portion and this uh, lower portion this is your lower portion of the breadboard okay they are horizontally connected and the middle two rows are vertically connected okay so there are five tiny holes right here two two four and one five so this uh, these five tiny holes are vertically connected whereas you can see these are the horizontals uh, horizontal row right here so if you connect any connection at this point 
all these connections are horizontally connected whereas when you see this particular breadboard they are connected vertically okay everyone clear and these are the component right here so uh, can you uh, give the name of these components quickly can you give the name of this component which component we are using in this particular experiment we are using uh, this particular esp32 module okay so this is the esp32 module which is present right here we are using this uh, usb cable that is connected to my computer then we are using this capacitor and uh, we are using this led and we are using this uh, register right here okay and uh, these are the uh, connecting wires these are the connecting wires clear everyone are you able to see the circuit right here okay clear pranay okay so you can see the back side you can see the back side of this breadboard okay you can see the back side of this breadboard when you remove remove this black uh, strip or uh, double tape okay you will find your circuit is uh, shown like this okay there is uh, some horizontal connections right here you can see they are all connected together okay and uh, in the central two rows you can see these uh, vertical strips are connected uh, with each other okay these are vertically connected with each other clear everyone are you able to see the back side of this particular uh, breadboard quickly give your response in chat clear any doubt related to the breadboard how this breadboard looks like and how these connections to be made uh, this is the simplified uh, view of your breadboard you can see this breadboard physically okay right when you are present in the university you can see physically this breadboard in our lab okay so in bitly you have already performed different uh, experiment so you know very much how this uh, breadboard is look like okay clear i am uh, sharing the screen again okay okay so these are the okay these are the uh, power rail connections i have shown you vertically uh, they are connected horizontally okay upper as well as a lower portion of this breadboard okay and there are two central strips right here they are horizontally connected okay they are known as terminal strips and uh, upper as well as lower uh, rows are known as a power rail clear any doubt related to this slide quickly give your response in chat clear okay so now come to the next slide uh, this is the computable components which we required for the demonstration okay so quickly give your response you have to identify each component because you have already completed your bitly lab and you can segregate each component quickly give your response what is this component what is this component quickly give your response led yes led if uh, its full form is its full form is LED stands for light emitting diode. Yes, you are right. LED stands for light emitting diode. This is called as it has three leg. What is the name of this component? Quickly give your response. What is the name of this component? This component is known as anyone can say transistor. Yes, you are right. Uh, satendra you are right this is a transistor uh, not a capacitor rohit okay so transistor uh, it has a three legs one is emitter one is base and another one is collector uh, what is this component quickly give your response in chat 
this component is used for voltage regulation. So anyone can tell what is the name of this component? Which component is used for voltage regulation? No, this is a voltage regulator. Okay, this is a voltage regulator, 7805 voltage regulator, which can regulate the voltage. If you provide plus 9 volt DC supply, it will regulate, regulate that plus 9 volt to 5 volt. Okay, it will give the constant 5 volt supply. Okay, so this is used mostly in the circuits where you will receive uh, fluctuated signals okay it will give you constant plus 5 volt okay so it will protect your circuit uh, from the damage because it provide constant supply uh, what is the component name quickly give your response what is this component this is a no it is not a capacitor with Kirsch summit so this is not a capacitor quickly anyone else quickly give a response what is the component name don't know diode yes Fezan, you are right this is a diode it has two legs similar to this led led is also a light emitting diode and this one is a simple diode okay it has two terminal okay or we can call two legs uh, one leg is known as quickly give your response it has two legs one leg is known as what is the name of these legs quickly give your response diode has two anode yes one leg is known as anode and another leg is known as cathode yes so anode is uh, what is the polarity on anode what is the polarity yeah, anode what is the polarity on anode no, anode is a positive supply. Okay, anode is a positive, whereas cathode is a negative. Okay, so when you connect anode, this particular uh, diode to the circuit, uh, it can work in both direction or it can work in single direction. The current will flow in single direction or current will flow in uh, both direction. Quickly give your response in diode. Current will flow in one direction or in both the direction, single direction. Yes, Sumit, you are right. When you place any diode, uh, that will uh, conduct in one direction only. What is the component name right here? Quickly, give your response. What is the component name right here? This is called uh, a register. Yes, you are right. Uh, it has a uh, different color notations uh, over this particular register. So how you can calculate the color, how you can calculate the value of this particular register, can anyone tell what is the formula? We can calculate the value of this particular register using, no, this is the different one. Okay, this is Ohm's law. Yes, we can use color code. So Mith, you are right, we are using, Rishi, you are also right. We, we are using color coding to find out the register value, okay? So there is a simple formula, BBY of Great Britain has very good Y, okay? So you have to represent uh, those uh, numbers from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this. And uh, you have to place these numbers according to the colors, BBY means black, brown, red, okay? So in this manner, you have to place the numbers and you have to find out the color combination, okay? And you have to find out its value. If you don't know the color coding, you can use simply a multimeter to find out its value, okay? You can place two knobs right here, okay? One knob is to place to toward this side and another knob is to be placed across this side and you have to check the multimeter what is the value of this resistance okay you can find out the resistance value in alternative way in uh, through this multimeter what is the component name right here so this component is known as ic yes this is ic ic stand for what is the full form of ic IC stands for integrated circuit, yes. 
integrated circuit we can call it as integrated circuit so it has a different uh, uh, circuit inside it okay we we are placing uh, nano technology right here you can use different and gate or gate not gate nor gate inside this ic okay you are using microcontroller you are using microprocessor you have seen your computer uh, and in inside that computer uh, you can see there is a very small processor uh, chip over there that processor is controlling all your uh, machines so that processor is embedded into uh, integrated chip okay millions of uh, transistors are placed inside these chips okay clear what is the name of this component this is called capacitor yes you are right this is a capacitor it store the charge okay it stores the charge it is a capacitor uh, quickly give your response what is the name of this component we can use this component to vary the resistance. When you place this component, you can vary the knob and you can change the resistance value. So this component is known as, quickly give your response, rheostat No. So yeah, you can say that rheostat also, but uh, we are giving the name as potentiometer, potentiometer, okay? You can change the level of the uh, particular resistance okay potentiometer is the correct name so these are the quickly give you a response these are called as uh, this particular wire is known as connecting wire okay this is the connecting wire clear so these are basic components which we will use to perform different experiments okay generally all these uh, all these components uh, are used in the making of the circuit okay we are frequently using these component to complete our experiment okay uh, next come to the addressing uh, you can see right here these uh, horizontal rows are uh, named with uh, the decimal number system uh, from 1 to 30 we can uh, name these uh, connections and uh, then these are center two rows they are represented with the alphabets okay so in five uh, tiny holes we represent the naming from e b c d e then f g h i j okay so in this manner you can address the different lines clear so this is the power rails the upper portion as well as a lower portion of this breadboard is known as power rail then internal connection you can connect as you can say these yellow strips are showing right here so all these strips are connected horizontally whereas these all yellow strips are connected vertically okay so central two rows are vertically connected whereas upper as well as the lower portion of the spread board are connected horizontally clear uh, then uh, inside the breadboard as you as i have uh, shown you the breadboard okay uh, and the breadboard uh, there is uh, the back side of this particular breadboard you can see right here i have shown you right now the breadboard so upper as well as lower portions of these breadboards are connected through these uh, strips okay so you can use these strips to place a different component and there are some grooves over these strips and uh, you can place uh, your component uh, on these uh, groups and you will perform the experiment accordingly okay so they are they look like this uh, next uh, how you can implement the circuit as i have told you you have to connect plus supply to the power rail and uh, negative supply to the another side of the uh, this particular brand board and inside this you have to connect the component so first experiment we will uh, give you some demonstration or hands-on session on LED blinking. So we will perform this experiment uh, in this particular uh, simulation software uh, Arduino as well as Fritzing. So this is the demonstration of Fritzing. You have already installed it. Okay. So 
this is just a installation part how you can install this fritzing uh, we have already installed this fritzing and you can see the dashboard of fritzing like this this is the dashboard of your fritzing are you able to see this dashboard in your screen uh, when you open your fritzing so similar uh, dashboard is to be shown when you open your fritzing software okay are you able to see this uh, similar window in your screen when you open your uh, fritzing okay you will find there is a right side uh, corner right here you will find different components are present over this uh, particular uh, right hand side corner okay so when you want to find out any component uh, there is a search option right here you can click on this search option and you will find uh, which component you want okay if uh, this uh, component is not available in this uh, list you have to import the component okay sir uh, pranay is saying sir i downloaded two parts of fritzing and extracted them okay that's all uh, we don't want to install that one okay uh, i have provided you the link okay so when you downloaded that you have to extract it this folder that's all you will find the application part right here the application name is fritzing you have to double click on it okay so when you double click on this you will find the dashboard i used from the link you provide yes pranay that's the link i have shared with you so you have to download the fritzing okay so this dashboard is opening when i double click on the application part so every time you have to use this application uh, i will install later no need to install okay no need to install anshul uh, you have to just download and extract that folder okay i have downloaded this folder right here okay this is the download uh, which i have uh, shown you right now so i have extracted this uh, with the help of uh, you can click right click on this particular icon and you will find extract here this is a zip file you have to unzip this file or you have to extract it okay when you extract this particular file uh, you will see this folder is showing like this okay fritzing 0.9.3b 0.64.pc you have to double click on it and you will find the application right here it is 8020kb file okay you have to double click on this fritzing and you will Uh, see the dashboard like this okay clear pranay are you able to see this dashboard in your screen uh, when you open a new file okay so how you can open a new file you have to click click on the new and you will see all the components will be present on the right hand side whereas you can connect your different component uh, on this particular platform so this is the backbone okay how you can connect your components you will find uh, the component okay sir i can share my screen pranay uh, when i will divide you into groups uh, you can share your screen you are in which group pranay pranay you are in which group three okay i will i will see your query at uh, the next session okay you can show me your screen and i will make the breakout group okay so when you want to uh, use uh, some components uh, you have to search for those components uh, so i uh, i want to use the esp32 module uh, you can use that uh, esp32 module okay and uh, you can find that esp32 module over there so this is the bcp module okay and uh, you can use windows like which part you want to show this is the part so when you want to search you can search for the any component like i am searching for esp32 board okay so this esp32 board is present here. so you can search like this clear everyone if this component is uh, not available in your list okay uh, when you have installed this particular 
uh, yeah, this uh, when you have opened this uh, fridging software first time you will find esp32 module will not be present in your uh, this uh, component list okay so how you can use uh, the import option so this is the import option uh, you can use uh, this import option to import the external components okay so where you will find the external component or where you will find esp32 module so you have to start the lms system okay in the lms system you will find a folder uh, which is named as resources okay so this is the folder or this is the link right here uh, resources when you click on this resources you will find there are different libraries are available okay so right now we are using esp32 module so for that you have to search for that so as you can see right here uh, there is uh, esp32 development kit dot f z p z file you have to right click on it and you have to download this particular file so this is your esp32 module which you want to perform your experiment. So all of you, please click on the resources. You will find this ESP32 development road kit, okay? I will share this link with you in the chat, okay? You can use this link to download this ESP32 development kit, okay? So download it. I have already downloaded it. So you can see in my download folder, this uh, particular um, ESP32 development kit is already available, okay? So I am going to upload this file, okay? So how I can upload this file, you can see right here, this is a window right here. And when you click on the window and click on the parts, you have to open, you have to click right here, okay? When you click on this side you will find the import option okay you have to click on the import and uh, you have to open the download folder i have stored that file in downloads and this is esp32 development to it board okay i have to open it okay so i have already in, installed this esp32 module or development kit so it will give me some error okay so uh, this board is present right here. So you can open this particular board and place this board right here. Quickly, all of you. Are you able to extract this file? Quickly, give your response in chat. Quickly, give your response in chat. Yes, okay. Now you have to take some resistances. So you have to search for register, okay? So when you search for register, you will find a different registers are present right here, okay? You can take any register and uh, place register uh, at this point, okay? And you can uh, rotate this uh, registers, okay? So this is the rotate option. You, if you want to rotate it by clockwise 90 degree, you can rotate it like this, okay? And uh, we are using this board and we are using digital pin. So we are connecting this uh, particular register to pin number two, okay? So that's why we have connected this resistance to pin number two. And after that, you have to connect your uh, components uh, LED okay so how you can find out LED you can search for the LED and uh, press enter okay you will find the LED right here so these are different LEDs okay you can take any one of this LED and place that LED uh, into the board okay so quickly perform the operation so you can rearrange your circuit so that you will not find any difficulty to complete this circuit. Quickly, 